Hey YouTube, welcome back to my data structures in TypeScript series. In this video, we'll cover abstract data types. So before going over the definition of what an abstract data type is, let's go over the definition of what an abstraction is. And before giving you some sort of wordy definition, I want to give you examples because I think people learn best from examples. So abstraction is everywhere and it's everywhere in the world and you might be using it without even knowing that is abstraction. For example, driving a car is an abstraction. When you're driving a car, all you're interfacing with or interacting with is a steering wheel and gas pedals. You don't really care about what goes underneath the hood or the actual implementation. You're unconcerned with the facts of how an engine works or how it operates and how it communicates with the steering wheel and gas pedals. All you care about is that if you turn right on the steering wheel, then your, your tires should turn right. And if you apply gas and accelerate or brake that your car does what you expect it to do. Not saying I'm not saying that these details underneath the hood of the engine are unimportant because they are very important, but to you as a person driving the car, as a consumer or client of the car, all you care about is getting from A to B. So all you really care about is the interface. So in this example, the interface is an abstraction of the engine. So in this car example, the steering wheel and gas and brake pedals are an abstraction over the car engine. Abstraction hides complexity that's not important to us, so we can go about our lives in a better way. The next example is going into a restaurant. When I go into a restaurant, I don't want to tell the chefs the specifics. I don't want to tell them I want baked salmon, and for you to make baked salmon, you're going to need to turn the oven on by 450 degrees first, then place the salmon in, wait 10 minutes, flip it, and then wait another 10 minutes and then serve it to me. I don't really care how the chefs cook it. I just want to say, hey, I want a salmon, right? So the waiters and waitresses are the interface to the kitchen and the kitchen is the implementation. So the waiters and waitresses are an abstraction. Abstraction and interface are can be used interchangeably. And the waiters and waitresses are an abstraction over the kitchen. They hide the complexity because as users of the restaurant, I don't really care about that complexity of how to cook food. How to cook food is important, but it's important to the chefs. So it's not my job to worry about that complexity. It's the chef's job. So I want all that complexity to be hidden right here underneath an interface. So this ties back into code. And this slide really is the example of what an abstract data type is. For example, you might want a list, right? Because you want to model your data in a list-like manner. Facebook is a list of posts and photos. Instagram is a list of photos, Twitter is a list of tweets, and you're making the next social media app and you want a you want to store some sort of collection, you want a list. And you know that your list should have these methods, just like you know that your car should be able to steer and accelerate and brake, and just like you know your your kitchen, um, your, your, your restaurant has salmon and it has steak and it has salad, you know that your list has these methods. That's all you know about. That's all you care. You only care about the interface. And the way we can implement that interface of a list is with data structures, like an array and linked lists. So this is the separation between what an abstract data type is and a data structure. A data structure is the implementation for an abstract data type. So going to the next slide to make it a bit more concrete, an abstraction of concrete data structures. That's what an abstract data type is. It is a thing that hides the complexity of concrete data structures. I don't really care about the complexity of an array or linked list. All I care about is I want these four methods to be able to perform in a certain way and a, sp and a specific speed. So abstraction is the interface and contract that data structures must adhere to and implement to. And the interface hides the details and complexity of the data structure implementation. So just like the restaurant, as in the waiters hide the complexity of the kitchen, and just like driving a car where the steering wheel and pedals hide the complexity of the engine, an abstract data type hides, hides the complexity of an array and linked list and, in general, data structures. Here are some examples of abstract data types and the data structures that they hide complexity for. A list can be implemented with a dynamic array or a linked list. A queue and stack could be implemented again with a dynamic array or linked list, and a map can be implemented with a hash map and tree map. So in this series, we're gonna be going over data structures and these are the implementations for the actual abstract data types. The abstract data types are interfaces, 
they define the contract and protocol of what users of these data types should need. And the data structures are the actual implementation. So you can think of us as the kitchens and the chef cooking up data structures. We care about this complexity. We want to hide this complexity with an abstraction called an abstract data type right here. So that covers abstract data types. We just went over a few examples in the real world and then tying it back to programming in our code. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.